Hey, welcome to Nature Journaling Week. I am so excited about this, you guys. I think that you will enjoy it too, I hope you will. Um, I'm coming to you from our art barn. As you can see, there's lots of projects going on behind me. I'm really excited to show you all of those projects. But today we are gonna talk about nature journaling supplies. So I thought this would be a good place to show you. I'll just, I put everything out on the table. Um, before I do that, I wanna remind you of two things with nature journaling. The first thing is that nature journaling can be done really anywhere. If you are stuck in a high rise apartment and feel like you don't have any nature around you, you'll be surprised if you just go sit outside or look out your window of what you will be able to see and, and observe. So it can really be done anywhere. If you just have a tiny little yard, I promise that you, if you look, you'll find some nature there. So um, if you're feeling discouraged about nature journaling, like this is something that's harder to do, especially now when we're all kind of sequestered in our little, in our little spaces, um, I just challenge you to, to try and find the nature, nature around you because it's there, I promise. And then number two is, I'm gonna show you a lot of supplies today, but really the only supplies that you need is just a pencil and a piece of paper. If you've got a notebook, that's great too. Um, these supplies are things that we have kind of gathered as we've done it through the years and things that are fun to have, but really all you need is a pencil and some paper. But with that in mind, um, I will show you some of the fun things that we have and things that have really helped our nature journaling be successful, our time with nature um, be more successful, just hoping that that is helpful to you. All right, I will turn this camera around and show you what we've got. See you on the other side. Okay, here's my spread. We're gonna start with the most important thing, and that is snacks. Um, I can't tell you how handy snacks come when you've got a group of kids and some of them are really into it and some of them aren't. Snacks just kind of keeps everybody sane and um, it's just an important thing to remember. So the first thing I would say is pack some snacks, some water so that everybody can stay happy, including you. Okay, the next part I'm gonna go to is this rug. So this is what we call our sit spot rugs. And I got this at Walmart. I think I paid $2 for it. It's great because I can fold it up and take it with me. And the kids have sit spot rugs as well. We'll talk about what a sit spot is later. Um, but for right now, this is great to have, um, you know, if, if there's dew on the ground or, um, you know, if it's stickery or whatever, this is a great thing to just put down and sit on. And it helps kids to stay put. They, um, it really helps younger kids to help them to know to just stay on their on their rug. So this is a great thing to have. Um, next we'll go over some of the notebooks. So this is a representation of all the different nature journals that we've used in our family. We started when they were little, we started with these little, um, these are moleskin um, notebooks. They, they can hold watercolor they're pocket sized, so they, um, they're great. And now they're little treasures to me. I just love these books from when they were just little. Anyway, um, I like them because for little kids, they're not overwhelming. Um, it's something that they can, that they don't, they don't see this big page and feel like they have to fill it up. Um, but some kids really like big pages to fill up. So it just depends on your child. But this one's great, and it's great for adults too, um, because again, it's just not a lot of pressure. It's just something small that you can that you can start with. Um, and then this is this is the one that I use. Um, it's the same thing. It's just a little bit bigger, and um, I like it because I can do a lot of watercolor and it doesn't bleed through. So each page um, it just really holds the water well. Um, for watercolor painting. So I really like this one. It doesn't have, like both of these don't have a lot of direction as far as like what to write. And so if that's overwhelming to you, I've got some other options, but this one has been great. I really like the size of it and I like that it has the elastic um, thing to keep it closed. So it's, it's a great quality uh, notebook. And all of these are gonna be linked to, I have a, a blog post that has all of these supplies linked. So um, you'll, you'll be able to find those. 
Okay, these are, both of these are the same thing. They're just two different versions of the same thing. So this is a nature journal that, that I put together when I was teaching last year at a private school. And um, it's actually a really great little journal. It's something that my kids have continued to use. So I'll just kind of show you. Um, so it's just got some great, it's got like 25 things you can record in your journal, so ideas, and then it's got a whole bunch of awesome, I found a whole bunch of really pretty vintage um, pictures that I put here to just give them some fun reference photos or photos, reference pictures for different plants and animals and bugs. And so that's got that in the front. I really like, we love the animal tracks um, section. So when they see a track, they can look through their journal and kind of find the track. And then this is just um, an example of what is in it. Um, so there's a place for the date, the weather, the time and the location, and then notes and then questions and then a place for sketches and um, then in the very back there is a place for I'll show you um, for collections so that's kind of fun you can put uh, different things in the back um, this one is so this one you can order off of Amazon and it comes just like this all bound and ready for you and then this one you can actually just download from the website and it comes with um, it comes with like four different covers so this is like the coloring book cover that they can just you can color they can color and then it's got three other four other um, options for covers so those are all the options and then um, I'll just show you the nice thing about this is that you can print it on heavier paper so this is like a 90 pound paper so it will handle watercolor and um, so I like that and I like the size of it um, but it's got the same thing that the other book had as far as the date and the weather and the time and location and all of that and then it also has a place for collections and this is kind of an example of some of the collections that we've put in this one like a feather some branches uh, some seeds and we just use packing tape and that usually works really well to keep everything um, preserved okay so those are the notebook ideas again if you don't have a note if you don't have a notebook just staple some paper together and just get started that way that's a great way to start okay let's go over here so um, you may be wondering why I have a cut a cut off old sock this is great to put around your um, cuff um, you know just right here <laughs> only got one hand here but it's great when you're watercoloring um, you can just dry your brush off and um, it's great for that um, okay if you're doing watercolor oops if you're doing watercolor um, this is I would highly recommend this set this is by Windsor and Newton it's called the pocket sketchers kit and it's got 12 colors inside and um, it's just a great little set you can see the size of it is just a little smaller than this so it's pocket size um, and the colors are great and then if you're going to do watercolor I'd highly recommend a water brush so it's a brush that holds water in in it which is really nice when you're out um, you know out in the field or whatever um, that you don't have to bring water with you and it actually holds it doesn't look like a lot but it actually holds a lot of water and so it's a great option to have when you're watercoloring and then um, pencil this is I really like this one. It's just the, the Bic mechanical pencil. Um, we'll talk a little more about the blue pencil. Um, this is just a great way to sketch something out before you watercolor it, um, because once you have it all sketched out, the watercolor usually hides most of the blue markings. So um, you can do a lot of great things with that blue pencil. And then I also love the Sharpie no bleed pen. So this doesn't bleed through and um, it's a really great to have and then just a few other fun things um, this is really fun um, and I have a link to it it's basically a magnifying glass that you can put on your phone camera and so you can get really cool video of little tiny things like insects and um, plants and you can see intricate details and patterns that you would never see with the naked eye so this is a really fun thing to have 
And then binoculars, this is a great inexpensive set that has lasted us for a long time. And a magnifying glass, which is fun to have too. And then I, over here I've got just a plastic bag. I usually put everything in the plastic bag that we are using and then I bring it, um, the kids can just have their supplies ready and we don't have to worry about things getting wet or destroyed because it's in the plastic bag. And this is my bag that I carry everything in. It's just an old field bag that my mom gave me a long time ago that has worked really well. So that is everything. Let me know if you have any questions and um, I'd be glad to answer them. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.